Hi everybody, this is Greg, the developer of Bubble Cloud Widgets and Wire Launcher. I've spent some time again on the home screen widgets part of the app. These new bubble arrangements have been on my to-do list for a long time. I call them smart auto layouts. We now have five new cloud styles besides the default amorphous random layout, which we had forever. The most simple new option is the RAN layout that you can see here, where one or more larger center bubbles are surrounded by the rest of the bubbles. What makes these layouts smart? They keep track of which bubbles we use, and either the most frequently or the most recently used bubble can be programmed to move to the center. What makes them automatic? As you add or take away bubbles, these layouts will dynamically rearrange. We can even set up auto-population in Bubble Clouds for newly installed apps or edit contacts to show up automatically. We can also change the layout right from the widget toolbar, which appears when you double tap the empty area of the widget. The grid layout simply organizes our bubbles in a grid. The layout smartly rearranges itself to most efficiently fill the available space. But there's a trick. We can use the rotation arrows to tilt the rows for a more interesting look. The galaxy layout works well in pop-up clouds too, which are the bubble folders. The positions of the bubbles in these layouts are based on the bubble weights. Bubble weights will increase with the use of the bubbles, but if we adjust the weights manually, we should lock the bubble sizes in the cloud configuration screen. Just as with the other layouts, we can use the swap tool, these double arrows, to most easily change the bubble positions. Just tap on the two bubbles we want to exchange. Finally, here's an alternating variant of the grid layout, which can accommodate a large number of bubbles. By rotating the cloud, you can decide whether the bubble weights increase from top to bottom, side to side, or bottom up. I plan to add even more smart layouts in the future, so your suggestions are very welcome as always, as well as your YouTube likes and subscriptions, and of course, your five-star ratings for the app if you like what I'm doing. The main app has just reached 1 million installs in the Play Store. A big thank you to all of you who took part in this achievement by getting and using the app.